Okay, this sermon is entitled, A Satanic Witness. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Blessed listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 121 reads, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Now, when it comes to the saved, we have the Holy Spirit indwelling us. We see this concept in Romans chapter 5, and it reads in verse 5, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Turn over to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. It reads in verse 16, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Anyone who is saved has the Holy Spirit inside of them, guiding us into all truth. The Holy Spirit is our witness. It bears record that we are the sons of God. And the unsaved out there, these grace-hating reprobates, they don't have the Holy Spirit. And that's why they come to false conclusions about doctrine. And I believe these people are led by Satan. Turn over to Hebrews chapter 10. Let's take a look at a couple verses here. Start off with verse 14, and it reads, For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Now, we're specifically dealing with saved people. Anyone who is saved has been positionally sanctified, and that means they've been set apart, and the Bible makes it very clear that they've been perfected forever. Okay, it's not sinless perfectionism. It's a positional perfection that comes to us by the imputed righteousness of God alone. It goes on in verse 15. He's describing such people as those who have the Holy Ghost. It reads, Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us, for after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds. Will I write them, and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now that's one thing the Holy Spirit tells the believer in Christ, the saved, is that their sins have been completely washed away by the blood of Jesus, and God will not remember them anymore. Now this is not the case with these unsaved non osassers with these lordship damnationists, and with all these people that hate grace, the reason why they're so concerned about losing their salvation or about not making it into heaven unless they have works or repenting of sins or whatever is because they have not the promise that their sins have been removed and that God will remember them no more. They don't have that promise because they're still in their sins. So here's how these stupid devils operate. They let Satan interpret the Bible for them. When the unsaved comes to a verse like John 3.15, here's how they read it. Okay, the Bible reads that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Well, Satan whispers in these unsaved devil's ears, eternal really means temporary. And that's why they believe you can lose salvation. When it comes to like verses that say believe, Satan tells them that believe means to obey. And it's really sad because that's all these people have is the aegis of Satan. Turn over to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. It's unbelievable that people can be so stupid all because they don't believe the Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, it reads in verse 3, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So when a person rejects eternal security, they believe it not, Satan blinds their mind. When a person rejects faith alone, Satan blinds their mind. When a person rejects hyper-grace, or anything else the Bible teaches, Satan, the God of this world, blinds their mind. That's why these people are so stupid. And that's why they're going to hell. Because they don't believe the truth, they don't want anything to do with it, and they get blinded, and then they go on believing a false gospel. They're accursed, according to Paul, in Galatians chapter 1. And then when they die, they die in their sins, and they drop into the pits of hell and burn forever. Because these people had a satanic witness instead of the witness of the Holy Ghost. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.